Well, we are just minutes away from another interest rate decision from the Bank of Canada. Tyler Orton with Business in Vancouver is tracking that. So, Tyler, what are we expecting? Well, most experts and economists expect Bank of Canada Governor Stephen Polos to hold rates steady. And this is interesting because it would actually go against some of what we're seeing internationally, where his counterparts are signaling that they'll be cutting rates in the near future. The difference, though, is that in Canada, our economy has been showing signs of strength in recent months that haven't been on display in other countries, save for maybe the United States. But a surprise move in either direction would impact everything from the value of the loonie to mortgage rates moving forward. So what's really important coming up here in just a few moments is what exactly Polaz has to say about the state of our economy. The bank is likely to raise its growth forecast, and that could signal that maybe a rate hike is actually in for the near term. So let's keep our eyes on this. It's going to be very interesting this morning. All right. And another story you're tracking. This is about the company WeWork expanding in Vancouver. Yeah, they're going to be taking up 10 stories at what's soon going to be the city's third largest office tower. Now, the company, known for being all about working spaces, is set to occupy 170,000 square feet at Bentall Green Oaks B6 development on West Pender. The reason why this is significant, though, is because of continued strains we're seeing on office vacancy rates in the downtown core. Yesterday, CBRE released new data revealing that Vancouver has set a new record low for vacancy rates, falling from 4.6% to 2.6% year over year in the second quarter. Part of the issue is, is that we have these well-capitalized co-working space companies leasing up all the available real estate and then charging fees to companies that want to use them. So the CBRE pointed out that just a few years ago, it was unprecedented to have any Canadian cities on the top of the North American rankings for vacancy rates. Right now, we have two in Vancouver and Toronto. And these companies, they're part of the reason why that we're seeing that right now. So it's a tough go for some businesses looking to re-up their leases on spaces downtown. Got it. All right, Tyler Orton with Business in Vancouver on this Wednesday. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks, Tanya.